and Omaha police confirmed that their suspect, 25-year-old David Anderson, did pass away. We also know that it was members of the Douglas County Fugitive Warrants Division out here to make a controlled substance arrest when Anderson was struck. CPR in progress as the ambulance leaves with a suspect hit by deputies gunfire. Douglas County Sheriff Department was attempting to make uh, an arrest on a party with a warrant. During that incident, shots were fired. After those shots, a brief call to help an officer, bringing dozens of police from all over the city to 22nd and Q. I bet there's 40 of them on the hill up here. And they got here in a hurry as families watched in fear. All of a sudden we just saw like 10 cops passing by like constantly. So we were like, what's wrong? And that's when we saw the ambulance. Cynthia Robles is just 13 years old. She lives and goes to school nearby. It was loud and they were just going by like really fast. Deputies came to serve a warrant just after 3.30, somehow leading to gunfire. They continued to search this banged up black pickup truck. But this neighborhood is home to many. Do you feel safe? I used to, but now. Especially when Cynthia sees her community behind blocks of police tape. This neighborhood is not, it's like calm. It really never happens anything. We also know that one woman was potentially injured by shattered glass, but again, we just learned moments ago that 25-year-old David Anderson passed away after being shot by at least one deputy. Now, those deputies are on paid administrative leave. We're told that is standard procedure. Omaha police are taking over this investigation. Reporting live near 24th and Q Street, Christina Engdahl, KETV News Watch 7.